Well, hello there. Hey, we actually had a clearing over here in northeastern Ohio. I didn't think we would because of all the uh, thunderstorms that have been rolling through here the last couple of days. But tonight is Sunday, May 15th, 2022. And in about 20 minutes, we're going to have a total lunar eclipse begin. And it's going to start from the bottom upwards. And it'll take about an hour before it's a total eclipse. So what I'm probably going to do is, um, on this camera, the Canon R, I have the uh, Tamron 35-150 to lens on there with a 2x extender and I'm using the 5x focusing zoom to get in a little bit further and I've been jockeying around all night <laughs> I've been filming for about an hour and a half already but I kept having problems with the uh, tree branches getting in the way but I think where I'm at now and if the clouds uh, don't interfere we might be able to catch it here now since I did have to sell the majority of my equipment um, all I have is this Canon R and, uh, and my iPhone camera the iPhone 8 so it's back there I'm using one of the uh, camera applications I think it's called moment or memento or something like that I'd have to double check but I was trying to do a time lapse over there but it makes a shutter sound for every freaking second. It was drive, driving me nuts. So <laughs> I like uh, how you're able to, with some of these camera apps, like uh, like Reflex. Uh, there's several others. I can't remember their names right at the moment. But it gives you a bit more control than the Apple camera app that comes with the uh, phone. But, okay, it is 10-12, and that is a line of clouds going down over it. Not the eclipse. <laughs> Drat. But anyway, what I'll probably do, since it'll take about an hour to shoot this footage for the uh, partial to the total lunar eclipse, <laughs> except I got one right now, um, I'll probably do a fast-forward and... Final Cut Pro and I don't know maybe cut the video down to one or two minutes or whatever we'll see I normally have to uh, <laughs> figure out how much I can fit of my commentary in there my jabbering away yeah so that eclipse there was a big bank of clouds 10.27 p.m. I do believe we're seeing the beginning of the eclipse right now. So we have a good hour to go. And I am going to be so pissed if uh, I haven't moved over far enough. And the tree branches are uh, getting away here. <laughs> if they do, it'll be over to the right. So we might see a double eclipse. <laughs> Alright, I hope no critters come roaming around here. <laughs> Especially since I'm right butt up against the fence. And that's where they scurry around. I do have a big possum again this year. He normally goes out and eats the uh, cat food I put out for the strays. And the way the moon is drifting, I'm going to have problems with the tree branches. Ah, oh, doggone it. You can see them coming into view here. I don't know how many people are going to have a double or triple eclipse, but <laughs> I've had them all. Clouds, tree branches, and the real deal. Well, we're going to call this a partial bust. We got some of it, but a lot of challenges along the way. But how often do you get three different types of eclipses in one night? <laughs> yeah.
Anyway, I hope wherever you are, you've had better luck and you're not being drenched in thunderstorms and tornadoes and everything else. It is that time of year. See y'all take care. It is now 11.13 p.m. up here on our almost total lunar eclipse night. <laughs> and it will be, just not in my backyard. Oh well, there we go. We're going black with tree branches and everything else. <laughs> Alright, bye now.